In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the ultimate mixed media effect in After Effects. I just need money and vibes, don't need none of that toxic shit. And to create these crazy mixed media effects you guys saw in the preview, we're going to be using my friend's Gus editing bundle called the Paper Effects Master Bundle. And if you guys don't know, Gus is famous for this style here. He has made one of the most popular mixed media tutorials on YouTube. And not only that, for this video here, Gus actually gave me a special discount code so take advantage of this code here is literally exclusive for this video here other than that let's get right into the video here so when you get the paper effects master bundle it's going to look something like this when you open up the file and here i have the project file with all mixed media templates in and for this to not ruin the original project file here we're going to be right clicking here then copy it and then paste it in so you get a copied version of the project file then open it up and when we open the project file it's going to look something like this here and the first thing we're going to be doing is basically importing our footage into our After Effects project here and now when we have imported our footage we're going to be adjusting it so it fits the composition settings here and also cut so you got the clips you want to have the mixed media effect on great so now i've got these clips i'm going to be applying the mixed media effect on here so what we're going to be doing next is basically open up these folders here on the side at the project tab and here we're going to be starting with the paper effects here so this is going to be giving you this textured paper look here so basically your footage is going to be looking like it's literally paper you know what i mean so so if you click on black paper for example it's going to be applying this paper texture as you guys can see so now when we play it, it's going to look something like this here insanely insanely cleaner and this is just one of the textures you guys can choose we can go with the paint dust for example and it's going to look something like this here insanely cool we also got the paper crumble and the paper crumble is going to look something like this here absolutely amazing and not only that with the paper effects bundle we can also create paper text and paper titles with this which is absolutely incredible so here we have the paper effects text folder here we can open it up and here open up change text here pretty straightforward you know what i mean and here we just change the text so i'm gonna i'm gonna name my text mixed and then media great then change your font something like that and then i'm going to be centering the text i'm gonna to go to align center the text like this here great now our text is going to look something like this here and now we can choose one of the uh, text effects here and we can go with the damaged grunge here so now we get this damaged paper grunge look here i mean absolutely incredible <laughs> this is crazy crazy good not gonna lie this this is incredible this is absolutely incredible with one click we literally got this text here i mean <laughs> this is incredible actually and as you guys can see this is just one of the text and title effects here we can try out the graffiti one and now when we play the text it's going to look something like this here <laughs> i mean <laughs> crazy crazy good absolutely incredible and I, I can zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the actual quality of this here insanely cool we can try one more the pop art grunge here let's try it out have this kind of half tone touch and these small dots here to the paper look here super cool so then when we are satisfied with our title we just go back to the before uh, pre-composition here basically where you have your original clips and here you're going to be just dragging in the text you wanted to use so for example the uh let's use the damage crunch drag and drop and here you get it to your clip and after that you go to the paper texture effects you can try a new one here crazy rips and we get something like this here insanely cool i mean absolutely <laughs> incredible like it's this is crazy cool super super cool look and now we can go back to the before clip here i'm going to be cutting the title here just like that so we just have it for the first clip here mixed media the next clip next clip and now for the bundle what we have covered so far is the paper effects and looks basically and and the paper text and titles as you guys can see uh, and now for the third thing we have bonus mats so here we can open up the folder and here open up clip one here and this is basically going to be a paper video as well but with a paper frame around it which is super super cool so here we're going to be dragging in our footage again so here choose a new clip here drag it in we can make it around this big here and here my footage has black bars so i'm going to be adding color key to this key color choose black 
then I think we can... I could delete the black bars like that. You can make the text invisible. Adjust your footage so it fits the composition here. And then we can choose one of the 10 frames here. Here we have a store here. Let's use that one. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Super, super cool store here. So now if we go back to before here, we could add in frame 5. Make it smaller. Rotate it a little bit. Drag it down in the corner. And then we can play it. Get this super, super cool look there. We can cut it. We can make another cut there. Here we could use... Let's use frame 4, drag and drop. I'm gonna cut it here so it continues the video like that. Then cut it there. And then here we can adjust it, change the size, position, then rotate it a little bit, something like that. So now when we play it, we have this look here. These small video elements here look super, super cool. And now for our last clip here, we can go to a clip 2 here in the bonus mat. Open it up, clip 2, open it up, and here we're going to be using another part of our uh, footage. Great, we have our footage here. Make it bigger. Now go back to the before clip. Here we can drag in frame 9. We get this crazy, crazy circle here. We can adjust it, rotate it, change the position. And here we're going to cut it again, delete it. And then we're going to be using another frame. So we can use frame, frame 10 here. Here we just cut it again so it continues where it left off. Adjust the size, position, then cut it. And now it's going to look something like this now. Pretty, pretty clean. But we can also make our own adjustments here. So for the title... We can keyframe the scale here, then go to the ending here. We can increase it to ready keyframe so we see how it looks. 135. We can make the start scale a little bit bigger as well. So we get this look here. Super clean. After that, we can keyframe the scale of the frames we have. So here I'm going to be increasing the size of the store a little bit. Something like that. So we get a little bit more motion to our whole uh, ultimate mixed media look here, basically. And same for the next frame here. Keyframe, I would increase like since the time is pretty frequent between these frames here, I would go a lot, about 5%, 5% in scale. So it doesn't look too crazy. Looks clean. Here we can scale it down instead. Keyframe the scale here as well. And scale it up a little bit. Great. And now when we play it, it's going to look something like this here. Super, super nice mixed media style here. You can obviously add a lot of more mixed media elements here, but I think this looks already really good. After that, you go to paper effects texture and then test out which paper look you guys wanted. Black paper was the classic one from the beginning. It's going to look something like this here. Or crazy rips. Super fire as well. Absolutely lovely looks here. Then I obviously want to add my own little, you know, twist to this or whatever. So go back to before here. Here we could add some effects here to create a very, very interesting looking, uh, you know, mixed media effect here. So make a new adjustment layer here. And here we're going to be adding grain to this. Add grain. Change from preview to final output and increase the intensity here. I'll start off with four. Then we're going to be adding threshold to this. We can use the CC threshold and then change this channel to RGB. Here we can play around with the uh, mixed media looks here. We get something like this here so far. Pretty, pretty interesting look here. We can add fast box blur. Set it to one. Go, go to your paper effects and just check so it looks good. So something like this to start off with. Cut it. Then we can cut it here again. And here we can change the settings to luminance. So it's going to be black and white now. Gonna go over the next look here. We get this look here. Cut it. Then cut it again. Change the channel to saturation. And then press invert on the threshold here. Make a cut. Then make a cut again. Here just delete the threshold and add a grain look to this. We can increase it to 7. Color it further in. Cut the adjustment layer. Then delete it. And now we have added our own, you know, kind of mixed media, grungy, grainy kind of touches to the whole mixed media look here. So now when we go to our paper effect, let's use the crazy rips here. We get this crazy look here. And when we're satisfied with the whole uh, look here and how it looks on our main, you know, paper effect, we can right click here, new composition, name it final, press OK, open up paper effects. Here you can drag in the crazy rips, then adjust the size. And we can drag in half tone as well, set it to 50%, depending on your resolution. And then we can use copy scanning grain as well. And here we can make our cuts as well. So go in, cut it here, 
cut it here as well. Just do a little bit random, I would say. Here we can cut again. After that, we got half tone. I'm gonna cut it here when the new clip starts. Then we can cut it here as well. So now when we play everything, we get this crazy mixed media look here where we've been literally randomizing a bunch of stuff here and adding multiple effects. And we got this crazy look here. And this is just one example of what you can create with the Paper Effects Master Bundle. And I'm very satisfied with this look here. Super, super cool pack. Super, super cool look here. And to check out the Paper Effects Master Bundle, it's going to be linked down below. So you guys can easily go and check it out. And don't forget to use the special exclusive discount code for this video here in particular. Like, it's not... It's not available anywhere else, like it's just for this video here. So be sure to take advantage of it. Other than that, thank you guys for watching this tutorial and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.